Hi guys! In last video we finished section 2 where we learned about Selenium WebDriver, its architecture and interface. Today we are starting section number 3, working with web elements. In this section we will talk about web element interface, we'll use locator strategies and interact with different page elements, including dropdowns, and we'll learn how to use implicit weights. So let's start our video talking about web element interface. We already know how to look for page elements in order to perform some actions on them. For example, driver find element by ID and send keys to type text Tom or driver find element by ID, ID of the button and dot click to click on the button. But we also can create and save those elements in our code using web element interface and then use them. Like this. First we are creating web element name by uh, using driver find element by id name. And then we using this web element name to send keys Tom. Or the same with button. First we create button element by id at name button. And then we using this button to click on the button. And then we using this button element to click on the button. Let's look at our login test example. So here we have this command driver find element by id username and then send keys Tom Smith same for the password. And here down below find element by tag name button click and find the element message get text. So instead, here at the beginning of our code, we can create these three elements that we have on our first page. Uh, for example, web element username. So we used to use driver find element send keys all in one line. Now we can create the same username web element and we can do the same for our password element and login button. And then later in the code, we can use this web element to actually type text, uh, username, password, and the same for the button. We can use it later to click on the button. And same on the second page. So we first we can create web element, message element, uh, found by id flash message. And then we can use this web element to get it its text. You may ask, why would we do that? Creating two lines of code where it was just one line. Sometimes we may use same web element few times in our test. So instead of looking for it each time, we can find it once and then use few times. Like here on this example. First we found name field and button. And then we use them three times each. We don't need to look for them again. We found them one time, saved them. We found them one time, saved them as web elements in our code and then using them. And besides, I think code like this is just looks better and is more self-explaining. So now we know how to use web element interface. 